Hey guys, in today's woodworking project, I will show you how to build an air hose reel made from plywood. Let's get started. Before I can cut my rounded plywood pieces, I need to draw 5 spokes with the same distance between each of them. In this case, 72 degrees. This will allow me to mark the location of 5 holes for the spokes that we will drill later. Using a 1/8 diameter drill bit, I make a hole that will allow me to insert a dremel bit that is the same size as the hole, and turn my jig around to create a circle. I cut two of them and they have a 12 inches diameter. I only made the marks on one of the two circle, but that's okay because anyway I will stick them together using 2 weight tape. So when drilling the 5 holes using a 3 quarter Forstner bit, both pieces will align perfectly. But for now I need to enlarge center holes on both pieces. One is 5 8 and the other one is 3 quarter. Forstner bit are better for that, but I gotta use what I have on hand. Now for the dowel. It's a 3 quarter dowel that I cut at every 9 inches and 3 quarter. And I do this 5 times. While I'm at it, I also cut 2 smaller pieces for the axle and the handle. I also cut all my plywood pieces for this project. Check my description for more details about the cutting list. Now it's time to assemble every part together. On one side, the axle will be the dowel. On the other side, it will be the fitting. On the dowel side, I will glue in place a small piece of plywood to add strength. I drill a small hole to secure everything in place with a screw, and also to be able to remove the reel if I have to. To assemble the reel together, I simply put some wood glue on each end of my dowel, and I insert them one by one. I repeat on the other side until my reel is complete. For the support assembly, it's pretty simple. It's a two layer thick plywood for the top and one plywood piece for each side. I glue top pieces together and while the glue dry, I drill some holes in both plywood that will hold the reel. Because the reel will be able to swivel 360 degrees, I drill a one quarter hole in the middle of the top plank. I then assemble the three pieces together using some wood glue. And I'm also adding four trim screws on each side to make sure the support is strong enough to support the weight of a hundred feet hose. Alright, so like I said earlier, on one side it's a female to female fitting that will make the axle for the reel. I need to find a way so the swivel doesn't move around anymore. So I've cut some small plywood pieces that I glue and screw to lock the swivel fitting in place. The swivel is pointing up, but I will change that later so it point to the bottom. I'll explain why later in the video. The axle is done on one side with the fitting, but for the other side it will be a 3 quarter dowel. This dowel will be attached to the handle, so I first start by assembling the handle. And the handle is made of a piece of plywood attached to a dowel. Pretty simple. I'm ready to assemble the reel inside this support. I first mount the reel on the fitting side, then I insert the dowel on the other side to secure it in place. I will place a metal washer between the reel and the support, and another one between the support and the handle. I align the dowel with the mark I made earlier and I put the screw in place. I also put some wood glue on the handle side, but the joint is so tight that not enough glue get between the dowel and the hole in the plywood, so adding a screw was needed later in the build. At this point, everything turns perfectly and I can't wait to test it out. I add a quick connect fitting, a male to male fitting, plus a metal washer on the other side to secure the reel in place on both ends. I still need to build the wall mount bracket. I start with a piece of plywood and I drill a one quarter hole in it. 
This will allow me to connect the wall bracket to the real support using a 1 quarter by 2.5 inches long bolt. The bracket is made from plywood and the two triangle pieces will give the needed support strength. Using some wood glue, some screw and some nails, I put everything together. Using the one cutter bolt, I connect the reel to his wall mount support. I put one washer on the top, two washer between both pieces and another washer on the bottom. I complete with an nylon insert lock nut. Alright, so now the reel can swivel 360 around, but what if I want to lock it in a certain position? My idea here is to make 5 holes between the wall bracket and the top of the reel support, so I can put an eye bolt in the hole to lock the reel in position. If I want it to turn freely, I turn the high bolt and now the high bolt sit on a little piece of plywood that I added to the wall support. Alright, and to be honest, I'm not really happy with my locking system. It could be improved or completely removed. I think that if I remove the two washers between the wall mount and the hose reel and just tie the bolt, it could be swiveled by hand and would hold that position without using a mechanical lock like the high bolt. But for now, it spins freely and I'm happy. And like I said earlier, I need to change the direction of the 90 degree elbow swivel on the side. If the hose had to go up, it would stuck into the wall support, so going down is the best option. And anyway, the compressor is on the floor. Time to install it on the wall. And because I have no studs in the middle, I have attached my hair hose reel to a plywood pieces using three screws. And this plywood pieces will be screwed directly into the wall studs. It should be strong enough. Finally, we can install the air hose. I start by mounting the hose that will go to the compressor, then the main hose into the reel. But the real question here is, does it work? Oh yeah! Alright guys, so it's working perfectly and I can't be much more happier about the results. So if you want more projects like that, make sure you subscribe, drop me a like below and I see you next time. Bye bye!